This video is sponsored by our good friends at DistroKid. What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. Hope you're good. Hope you're safe. I made a video about, about a year and a half ago talking about how you can make more money as a producer. I briefly touched on using Spotify to make extra money, but I didn't really go into detail on how to get your music onto Spotify. So in this video, that's what we're going to talk about. But first, before we do that, let me shout out my two new subscribers. So shout out Quasi, RJ and Sophie Saunders. Thank you both for subscribing. That means a lot. You hitting that subscribe button. Hopefully you hit the notification bell so you'd know today that you got your shout out. Otherwise you're going to miss future videos. So yeah, it's important to hit that notification bell. Your favourite comment for this week is coming from Serious Black Beats. Bro, don't worry about it, mate. Like I said in my reply, bro, it's better late than never. You're here now, part of the community. I hope you continue to get value from the videos that I put out. Right, now we've got all that out of the way. Let's dive into the video. Well, in the previous video, I mentioned putting your music on Spotify would be a good way for you to earn some extra money. So one of the, one of the main reasons for this as well, because as a producer, you don't just want to rely on selling beats. It's up to you as it goes. If you want to just rely on selling beats to artists online, that's entirely up to you. But it's also good to have different streams of income. Could be selling beats, mix and mastering, graphic design, if that's what you're good at, advice, consultations. Different streams of income is a good way for you to make some extra money. One of them, as I mentioned already, being putting your music on Spotify. Probably thinking, yeah, you need like millions of streams before you can make a decent amount of money. Bit of truth in that. But at the same time, this will help you to build your brand, build your name, because an artist could be looking for, or just listening to Spotify, your beat comes up, they save that to their liked playlist, because you've got all your details on your Spotify artist profile, which you can get through DistroKid, you'd have another artist to work with. So going back to streams and how much you need to make a decent amount of money. Don't worry about that, because if your beat was to get into a playlist that's doing really well and it's getting a lot of listens, then it's a no-brainer. Use DistroKid, I've been using them for years. And what I like about DistroKid is how simple it is to get your music up. If you watch my video on how to use Spotify, I break down how to upload your music through DistroKid so they can distribute it out to Spotify. And my beat took about two hours before it was live on Spotify. That's amazing because I know some other distributors that will take a couple days, maybe longer than that. No guarantee that's gonna be the same for you, but that's how it was for me. And yeah, I was definitely impressed by that. DistroKid for the win. If you're a music artist, you haven't really got much songs out already, and you're thinking oh, that you're in two minds whether or not to put your music up do cover songs because i work with a lot of indie artists independent artists my advice to them is always so my advice to them is to do cover songs put them out there with this show kid they allow you to put cover songs on there read through the do's and the don'ts so you don't get yourself into any trouble so that's a cool way of getting established and building your brand and getting yourself out there so people know about you because there's no point in creating all these songs or these beats having them sitting on your hard drive expecting people to to know about you it's just not going to happen so yeah Get yourself on Digital Kid, get yourself on Spotify, get yourself out there. Let people hear your talent, share your talent with the world. We need to hear it. Multiple streams of income is important. Even if you don't want to make no money off of Spotify, at least use these platforms, take advantage of these platforms. To get yourself out there, get some listeners, build your brand, get people to understand what you do, what you're about, and share your talent. If you've got any questions, drop a comment below or hit me up on Insta, DM me on Insta. I hope you've got something from this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you like this sort of videos and we'll see more, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.